All right, guys. So I just want to let you know that. So I was, I want to let you guys know that in the Bible, no man was perfect. No woman, no child, nobody from the Bible back then, back in the day was perfect, except for one man. His name is Jesus Christ. He was the only one. And let me tell you guys something. Most of the Old Testament stories have happened way before he even came to earth. Most of the things about Jesus are in the New Testament. And let me tell you guys something. The Garden of Eden was where we were supposed to be. Adam and Eve were in the Garden of Eden. And this was way before Jesus came to earth to do what he did. Let me tell you something, guys. And when I say I'm going to let you know, I'm going to let you know. The Garden of Eden was where Adam and Eve, God had put them there. And God had took Eve from Adam's rib. Does that mean all women come from a man's rib? No, of course not. Or that all men come from the dust, from the ground up? No, of course not. Because Adam was from the dust and Eve was from Adam's rib. Now the world today would judge and say, well, you know, why, why didn't Adam and Eve, why did they commit sin? You know, why could we be perfect? We didn't eat from the tree of good and evil. They did. Okay, you might be right about that. But why get judgmental and complain about it? You're not going to do anything. You can't go back in time with a time machine and change it. You just can't. The thing is, is that Adam and Eve committed sin. Because God told them, not to eat the tree of good and evil. When God says don't do it, don't do it. Because he loves you and he's trying to keep you away from sin. When he's trying to keep you away from sin, he's he's got his eye on you. He's keeping a lookout. And he's trying to get you away from the devil, from the sin, from the darkness of the world. The thing is, guys, is that whether you like it or not, this is the truth, okay? This is true 100%. This actually happened back in the day. Years ago. Centuries ago. Way before me and you were even here. Before, Way before there was any Starbucks. Way before there was any restaurants, technology, internet, education, schools, jobs. or Way before any of this came into existence. And the thing is, is that... The whole point of this video is, this is about Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden in the Bible in Genesis. This is what I'm talking about. When the devil told Eve as a snake, he was disguised as a serpent, he manifested. He told Eve, he said this, did God say you cannot eat the tree of good and evil and that you, you know, and that you can't do it or you'll be gone? No, he said that if you eat this this from the tree of good and evil, you will become like God, knowing good and evil. He lied to Eve and told her this lie, this nasty lie of sin, to Eve. And she fell for it and she ate it. So she did not resist the temptations of the devil. She gave in to it and then gave it to her husband, Adam, and he did the same thing. He ate the same thing. Fruits from the tree of good and evil that God told him not to do. And they did it. They didn't say it. They did it. That's even worse than when you talk about it. They didn't talk about sin, but they did it. They didn't cause it, but they did it. They still fell for it. And God punished them for it. God knew what they did was wrong. What Adam and Eve did was wrong. And he punished them for it. They were both punished. It wasn't just the man and not the woman. It wasn't just the woman, not the man. It was both of them. And they were both kicked out of the Garden of Eden. They were punished. That was their consequence. They were kicked out of the Garden of Eden. They were never allowed back in. And if they tried to, he would kick them out again. And they knew what they did was wrong. God doesn't play around everybody. He could do the same thing to you as he did to them. You do something wrong, you're gone. You get kicked out. That's all I have to say in this video.